All right, let's talk about hypothesis testing. So what is a hypothesis testing? First of all, you have to understand the term hypothesis. Hypothesis is a statement made about the value of population parameter that we would like to test, okay, or we wish to test using the evident or the sample we have. Okay, so let's just look here. Now, every time you want to do a hypothesis testing, you would need two hypotheses, right? So the first hypothesis would be called as the null hypothesis. We will call it H null. So the zero here represent null. Okay, so in this hypothesis, we would say it is assumed to be correct. Okay, unless you can prove it to be wrong. So pretty much we are putting the assumption without testing for first that this is correct. Okay, then we have the alternate hypothesis. We called it H1. So you can have one alternate hypothesis, two alternate hypotheses, or even three. Okay, so this tells us about the value of the population parameter. Okay, so if we assume it to be wrong, so what is the correct one or what is the possibility of the correct one? Okay, all right, let's see. So I'm not saying this is wrong, okay? I am saying that this is, if that is wrong, if the above is wrong, then this could be correct. Okay, all right, let's see here. So the first example would be Ken wants to see whether the coin is biased, okay, that's the keyword biased, or whether it is unbiased. So we look at unbiased or biased towards coming down here. He, toss, he tosses the coin eight times and counts the number of times, called it X, that it lands head. So first of all, describe the test statistic. So recall the term test statistic. What is it that you are concerned? So you label that. You say, okay, X, the number of count, right, is your test statistic. Number of count in the eight toes. Okay, so that is the first thing you do. This is the first thing you do by finding the test statistic. In this case, it is X, numbers of heads in eight toes. All right, then B. Set up the null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis. So how can I set the null hypothesis? So the null and then the alternate hypothesis. Okay, so my null hypothesis will have to be correct, assumed to be correct. Okay, so I'm saying that first line is my null hypothesis. The coin is unbiased. If it is unbiased, it means the probability is 0 0.5 because the coin have two faces, right? Either head or tails. So we're saying that first we set the hypothesis to be unbiased, which is the 0 0.5. So if the coin is unbiased, the probability that it lands head is 0 0.5. That is my null hypothesis. How about my alternate hypothesis? My alternate hypothesis is it is biased, okay, to what's coming down on head. So you put here, it is biased towards landing to head. So it means that the probability P must be greater than 0 0.5. That is my alternate hypothesis. Now coming to the question, can I say H alternate is less than 0 0.5 or is not equals to 0 0.5? Is it possible for us to use these two instead of this one above? So think a little bit. Yes, you can use this or even that. Okay, so it depends on the outcome you're looking for. All right, so to make things simple, we'll go with the above first. Okay, let's see here. So how do we know that we accept or reject the null hypothesis? So we want to accept this, accept meaning that this is correct, okay, and this is not true. Or we want it to be the other way around. That Hey, no, we accept this one instead. So we don't say this is correct, by the way. We will say accept or reject. 
so our answer will end like this accept h now or reject h now so it's either this as your final answer or that as your final answer so how do we know that first of all we have to rely on the x value okay so the x value will help us decide whether we are going to reject or not reject so x are divided into two regions first the value inside the critical region second the value that is outside critical region so we are saying that if the value of x is inside the critical region so what is critical region the range in which we will accept the null hypothesis see this is the critical region we say if you are age your x value falls inside this zone right this zone inside here i'm going to shade it then we do not reject h now so if it's inside here we say we accept h now but what if the x value is outside okay if the x value lies here or here okay then we say we if it's here or here we say we reject h now keep that in mind yeah so we will only reject or accept depending on where our x value lies okay so now another term you need to understand is the term level of significant so level of significant alpha should be given to you either five percent or one percent okay let's see here so you can have two kind of tests you can have one tail test okay one tail it could either be the left tail this is the left tail or the right tail so this is the left tail while this is the right tail so how do i know which tail if it's less than it means this is the left tail if it's greater than it means this is the right tail okay so you can have one tail test or you can have two tail tests so two tail means you're using the term h alternate is not equals to so these are the two tail one here and one here which means that we are concerned with the critical region here right i need to find this value so if this is alpha over two this is also alpha over two right so this same this is going to just be alpha same here alpha okay so alpha is level of significant let's see this so the summary here you need to understand first of all how do you set up a hypothesis you need to identify the test parameter it could either be theta could either be p could either be lambda mu could either be x so depending on what test you are doing second write down the null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis okay so you need to first write that out then in the alternate hypothesis you have to identify that are you focusing on one tail test or two tail tests third you need to tell me the level of significance so you're supposed to be looking for the value of alpha then you need to find out whether x falls in the critical region or outside if it's inside then we accept if it's outside we reject okay so this is type of hypothesis you can you can check so this is pretty much like a summary for you if you are doing one tail test you can have h null as that so theta or x equals to certain value and alternate could be greater than or could be less than so if it's greater than we say we will reject if the probability of x is of less than is less than the alpha value but we reject for the second case when x is less than the x observed or calculated okay when the data is less than the alpha well, how about two tail tests if it's two tail tests again see the null hypothesis are all the same but just the alternate hypothesis that we change okay then we look at whether our value of m that we have calculated lies in the critical region or outside 
last step is you state your conclusion, whether you want to accept or reject your H now. Okay.